Holy cow guys, this week has been intense with all the recent updates of the Cybertruck, the Highland Model 3s, and now the Model 2. Now obviously we're not too sure what the next generation vehicle name is going to be, however the Model 2 or even the Model 3 updated design is most likely going to be the case. The only reason that I don't believe it's going to be called the Model 2 mainly is just because of the sexy designation. So right now if you guys don't already no, sexy is the model S, E, X, and Y. And then cars would be the Cybertruck, the ATV, the Roadster, and the Semi. So because of that lineup there, I don't see where the number two would sit in that front. It would totally mess up the whole sexy cars thing, but who knows? Maybe Tesla has something in mind and the number two just adds to that effect. But my hunch here says that they are going to be doing something a little bit different, but sticking to the Model 3 moniker and just adding some kind of extension to it. It could be called something like the Model 3 Economy or Model 3 Speed or something along that line. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if that makes sense at all and if you guys do have any recommendations of what it should be called. All you need to do is just go on Twitter and tag Elon Musk in your name suggestion and then tag myself too at HeyJohnE and we'll try to discuss there and see what's the best name for that vehicle. But anyways, just for this purpose here, we're just gonna call it the Model 2. So let's go ahead with the new here. So according to PR Newswire Hong Kong, the Model 2 design has been finalized and that means that they are ready for the next stage of production. This is the vehicle that is going to be produced in Giga Mexico which is being built itself right now and it is going to be producing roughly 2 million vehicles annually. Giga Mexico construction is already underway and they gave a timeline of roughly 12 to 15 months but my hunch also says that they are going to be completely way before that. Just like how Giga Austin, Berlin, and Shanghai reached this completion way ahead of deadline. This is the crazy thing about Tesla. Their speed of progression is just insane compared to any manufacturer out there. With the rate of everything going on right now, if you had to ask me when would the Model 2 arrive to consumers' hands, I would probably give it by the end of 2025 just to be sure. Now, even with the Model 2 design being finalized, there are a lot of parts and suppliers that have have to join together to create this vehicle. Now Tesla has mentioned that there is a huge shift towards the efficiency and the amount of parts going into the vehicle. So this means that the Model 2 is going to be a vehicle that is kept very simple and efficient and it's going to have all the parts that are important to the driver and the passenger and none of the other extras that you might see in the Model S, X, 3 and Y. That means that luxury features and materials that you see in today's vehicle is likely going to be going away or is no longer going to be planned to be added. Things such as leather, heated and cooled seats, ambient lighting, premium material, Alcantara and so on and so forth is not going to be in this vehicle. There's even a chance that we might not get any of the convenience features such as the automatic seats and the automatic steering controls. This contributes to the overall cost savings and that is going to be passed on to you guys. That means that the vehicle is going to start at $20,000. Now, if you account in the federal rebates of $7,500, you're bringing the car down near to the $10,000 mark for a brand new EV. Think about that guys, it's just literally insane that you can walk to a Tesla showroom, order a vehicle, and walk out of it for under $15,000. What's even more mind blowing is that it's not even accounting any of the statewide incentives, so there is even a chance that we're getting down to the $10,000 mark after everything. So guys, this is the perfect car if you're planning to just get into the EV game. Now keep in mind that this vehicle, why it doesn't have all the crazy features of the Model 3s and 4 is that it's going to be the vehicle for robo taxis. So they're going to be focusing on the camera system and all the other sensors or whatever's left of it and they're going to make the car drive autonomously to pick up people to allow your vehicle to work for you while you're sleeping at night. Those are the features that are most important to Tesla as of right now. So this is what you're paying for and this is what you're going to get in your driveway in about a year to two years span. So yeah, all of this is crazy and the fact that the design Design has been finalized. I'm really waiting to see what it turns out to be like. Hopefully this is a departure from the current Model 3 design and possibly something a little bit taller and a little more spacious on the inside so it can serve better as a robo taxi. As of right now we can really just speculate what it looks like and there has been quite a bit of mock-ups online. But
but when the thing gets revealed or the thing gets leaked be sure that i will be the first one to update you guys so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that notification bell and this is john once again peace out